Headlines Uganda Daily Monitor Minister removes evil iron sheet off his roof Bilateral ties, Ramaphosa seeks more Ugandan coffee, cocoa New anti-gay bill plan excites MPs Uganda more vulnerable to terror attacks US New vision Carry your own cross, says speaker Museveni, Ramaphosa seal investment deal Minister de Rutsko shed after news stories. French court clears Tilenga oil pipeline projects. The standard. Why I will not accept or move on. Why there aren't enough books in junior secondary. Anti-graft agency now goes after Matthias as well. House team rejects shillings 10 billion done under Uhuru. The New Times Peer Learning and HIV Slash AIDS, Ending Stigma, Discrimination Niagatir District Tops Performance Contracts How Africa Can Increase Energy Production Capacity The Citizen Glaring Disparities in Contraception and Their Impact World Bank Funds to Improve Water, Sanitation Services for 20 Million People Reasons behind presidential appointees. Mwilimu. 20 years olds caught up in primary school. School gets shillings 150 million water project. Early fruits of the new curriculum. Daily Nation. Poll, Kenya headed in wrong direction. Puzzle as Meshagi goes abroad amid EACC, DCI probes. Second annual international conference. Star. Ruto to set up giant machine for 2027 race. DCI and EACC launch twin assault probe on Meishagi. No to Chinese, say protesting traders. Y Tribunal exposes XIEBC and security chief to prosecution. Vision Extra. Iron Sheet Saga. Carry your cross speaker. Cop, French court dismisses case against Total Energies. TPM boss issues new parish cash order. Lent message. Humility tells us to work for success, influence, popularity, authority, and wealth. During Lent let us focus on simplicity, humility, and love of one another without discrimination. Today in history. Museveni sends off Somalia peacekeepers. The commander-in-chief handed over the country's flag to the head of the contingent, COL. Peter Elwaru at Gadda Barracks in Jinjia. This day in Uganda. Uganda begins self-government. As a result of the September 1961 Uganda Constitution Conference held in London, Uganda achieved internal self-government on March 1, 1962. Compliment Day. Expressing admiration and appreciation are relational skills that don't always come naturally at first they may need to be learned. Sports. Kalina Zahimuza the Ugandan woman coaching a men's soccer team. How Fat Ila become an African champion? Who will fix the mess in netball? Budo girls win in Morocco. Headlines Uganda Headlines Uganda